That is not pleasant to listen to. This is not the type of thing that you're gonna put into your car. And I know someone's gonna say, I listen to it in my car all the time. In which case, you know what, good for you. Ah yes, this is the um, the big beetle. Instead of going to the dancer of the Boreal Valley, you take a right. You got all those knights in the ramp and the stairs going up and down. I hated this corner, but so Vort, I feel bad for Vort because Vort wasn't really that difficult. Instantly you hear the shell. Body quality that's like very oversized, a little hunchy. You hear it, and that sets the scene, which is actually interesting if you think about it, because on the right side, you've got Bort. On the left side, you've got Dancer. Two very interesting extremes. Very militaristic, very pronounced very obviously large but there is this quality of duty laden warrior protector of the realm or a keeper of the safety of the people or this very uh, i am vort <laughs> I have to say, I am uh, not enjoying the over-synthesized sound here. Kind of sounds like farts. I don't think that this is an orchestra. In every boss theme, there is a, a bit of tension there. For whatever reason, characterization, obviously it's a boss fight, so there's inherent tension there. It's, it's non-stop. Um, I kind of want like a break from the loudness after a minute. <laughs> I do like what those strings are doing underneath here, if you So Vort doesn't necessarily want to fight against us, and the, the clue there is that violin there. The violin is pained. It comes out of, like, the shell of this loud horn section. And I actually think that that's more the through line than the horns are. <laughs> I also find that that's pretty heroic. Boom, ba da da, ba ba. You hear how this, that little bit of a trumpet, boom, ba da da, ba ba. That's a very heroic mel melodic line, a heroic phrase. <laughs> It's sort of unrelenting, which which I find a little bit frustrating because it's it's a, it's a little bit uh, overstimulating to the ear. But at the same time, that's actually really apropos for Vort. I think it probably indicates like Vort's uh, desire to not stop until we are defeated. And so there is a <clears throat> a constant forward momentum of that heavy rhythmic pattern with those horns, with the intention that is causing a feeling of discomfort and a feeling that like Vort wants to destroy us like nothing will get in the way of vort destroying us like this is a must for vort and you feel that intensity <laughs> What's weird is that I don't feel like a heroicism from this track. Like I feel more of like a desire to prove oneself rather than like General Rodan's theme, which was much more 
heroic with with its horn use. <laughs> This is my job, and I'm going to stop at nothing, and I'm huge, and I'm going to take you out. That little twinge of a harpsichord a couple seconds before this, where I stopped, is really interesting, too, because it gives us, it places us in this, like, castle vibe. Check that out. Ba 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 That's interesting. But I think there is a pain in this violin because it's pretty painful sound. So I wonder if Vort has suffered some terrible fate. We actually do him a favor by by killing him. This is certainly not my favorite Dark Souls 3 track. Uh, I don't think that this stands out on its own without context either. Like this is just kind of like plotty a bit. I'm having like a weird negative reaction to it because there is just, it's, it's just nonsense. Bah, 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 bah. There are like little individual moments that are really interesting, but I'm really struggling. <laughs> See, that's another nice gesture too. Which is like this torrential like spinning thing. Wow, that is super cool. That was a very, very short phase ending. And then as we begin, let's pick up the, the tempo, a little bit of like, no, 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 you can't, you can't. And then we start just like, like wailing away. Now this is interesting. Key change. Wow, that is fantastically chaotic. That's actually, that is so intense. That's nonstop. Ooh. Yeah, so then, then we have this chaos, this like unraveling, right? This like flailing this mace around. You, you feel, you feel like, but then it's almost like he's like, I'm tired. You think you can defeat me? I won't let you. So still has that forward momentum, but it's pulled back in the cascading down thing. And now the chorus is like, oh, 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 oh. they're not doing that. Da -da 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 you know, it's, it's mm. little shifts like that are really interesting. Oh. 
Now that's cool. Boom. That's that's cool. Do you hear how like this like could be like Vort's BPM, his beats per minute of his heart? Like there's there's like a, a chaos in there. The female and male chorus here is incredibly dissonant. That is not pleasant to listen to. Like this is not the type of thing that you're gonna put into your car. And I know someone's gonna say I listen to it in my car all the time. In which case, you know what? Good for you. But me personally, like this is not. This is incredibly dissonant and it's very uh, stressful. It's, it's it's disjointed. It's uncomfortable. And I think that that's the point. This is actually a pretty interesting piece in the second half, especially because there's a lot more psychology in here now. There's a lot more like thoughts about what's going on and how, how do I mitigate this? There's a consciousness that's awakened. <laughs> So yeah, so this is the heroic knight that's had a fall from grace. That's very fall from Gracie. This is him standing up. There's a lot of unison. So it's like, I am here and I will defeat you. I will not stop until it is done. <laughs> This is that desperate last attempt. I also love this. That's really cool. And then also, yeah, this is. Yeah, that's a long one. It's interesting because there are like eight different distinct phases in there. Despite the fact that there are very two clear phase points, in phase two, there are about three different micro phases. So that's pretty interesting. I mean, it does it does get a little repetitive. That has not been my most favorite from Saw from Soft Dark Souls track to listen to. I will give it credit that it does paint a wonderful picture of Vort as a character of the different like mindsets that Vort is in when uh, when when fighting us. I want to just check out his lore really quickly. Vort was once an outrider knight who served under Pontiff Sullivan. We know that anybody who serves under Pontiff Sullivan usually ends up in a bad way. And was one of the many knights to receive the Pontiff's left eye, a bewitching ring that slowly transforms this wear into a mindless beast. 
for it served alongside the dancer of the Boreal Valley until their transformation. I see. So unfortunately, Vort was put in an unfair situation, and that's why you hear the roving beast quality in that music for sure. And uh, I think that that's why it sounds as plotty as it does, because he's like not a person anymore. Uh, Vort is, is no longer an entity with a, with a consciousness at this point. It's, you know, crazy. Yeah, that was fun. Happy to listen to that. There's more FromSoft on the channel. Feel free to like, subscribe, and thanks for listening to video game music with me. I'll talk to you later. Bye.